for another of my bloggy bloggy blog blogs uh, <coughs> still going through through box 24 let's just crack this one it's uh, so we've got world war three book one from the pages of 52 it's when black adam went crazy i think his <coughs> his wife and her brother had been killed I think it was. I think it was actually like by Alia. People who some these like agents of the apocalypse kind of thing, like war, famine, pestilence, death, whatever. Um, yeah, and uh, he went mad. I think he destroyed Bialia, killed everyone there. I think. And uh, the heroes of the world went to try and stop him doing what he was doing, kind of thing. Yeah. Overkill, mass overkill. <laughs> I think it was about stopping the 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 horsemen of the apocalypse as well. I think it had something to do with it as well. Right, and then from that we had countdown began. So it was counting down from from fifty two. Fifty one is the first one though, so. Zero will be, I think, I think it goes down to zero, so it starts on 51. So begins the end, wow. It's a rather big cover. That's not even a wraparound, when a wraparound won't do enough. <laughs> we go for three pages instead. Right, 50. Forty-nine. Is that the monitor's hand or the anti-monitor's hand? Maybe. Judging from the from the wrist, I think it might be the monitor or the anti-monitor. Not too sure. I'm not even sure it's in his hand. It's uh, Donna Troy, Green Lantern. Now, who's the guy in the middle? Is it is that Red Hood? Could be Red Hood. An old Red Hood costume, maybe. Death of a new god. Cover damage there. It's um, oh, what's his name? He's not often. He's not that often used. But he's the son of High Father, isn't he? I can't remember what his name is though. Hmm. Sure, it'll come to me eventually. Although he's he's very seldom seen, so I can't quite remember what his name is. Um, that's I think that's Mary Marvel. But didn't she get corrupted? Is that the corrupted Mary Marvel? Introducing Forerunner. <sighs> oh, I've got this. Excuse the sniffing. Sorry about that. Is this Monarch? Yeah. <laughs> Is this Monarch, I say? Well, it's got Monarch <laughs> underneath him in big letters. Pretty sure it's safe to say that that is indeed Monarch. Can you know how I can tell? It's by the big letters underneath him that say Monarch. Ah, you know, I knew there had to be a system. <laughs> I thought there had to be a system for finding these things out. And certainly writing underneath them in big letters is one of the better systems. One of the systems that works the best. <laughs> So, I don't know if you guys have watched the cover slingers yet and saw what a travesty of justice it was. Unbelievable! That Matilda, just because there's a new guy, like a new guy coming on, taking part of the game, she let him win. She gave him completely wrong scores. I mean, my, my comics were, were patently better. 
that's my role in the uh, in the cover slingers. I'm I'm the I'm the petulant child. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm the moany little brat. <laughs> oh dear. No, uh, cap and cap and ones, cap cap and comics, it cap and comics, yeah. Or oh, Captain Comics, I think it's supposed to be. Patrick the same, but it's just like we are using. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> He's that kind of Captain, <laughs> like a pirate shanty version of Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. Yeah, he won with the shark covers, so he's coming back next week as well. We're doing. Nautical, we're going to do a naughty nautical theme, I believe, of some sort. So it'll be ships, pirates, that kind of thing. I think he's playing to his own strengths. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's got loads of Ricky comics in that in that vein. Uh, Mr. Action, the first appearance of Mr. Action. That's uh, Jimmy Olsen, isn't it? Mr. Action. Ivy League. That's the Pied Piper and uh, uh, Trickster, is it? The Trickster? Yeah, I believe so. Remember these two being on the run, yeah. Rogues. They're rogues. The Trickster and uh, Pied... Pied Piper on the run, that they broke out from prison or what the score story was, but it was tied up the whole time. And I think that Pied Piper ends up getting killed, and he's and Tricks is running around with his hand tied to him or his arm tied to him or something ridiculous like that, something nasty like that. And they end up getting sent to is it, is it called Salvation Run when when all the criminals were suddenly sent to an alien planet to fend for themselves. It's a bit strange. The Crime Society flies again. Best step up because I'm uh, low on battery. Blinding brother eye. I don't think there'll be too many in watching my uh, bloggy blog when it goes live tonight because uh, I think Bill's got a live stream at the same time as me doing my normal premiere. Hopefully people will watch this afterwards. I'll probably be asleep again. I'll probably miss my own premiere. Now, I think I managed to watch it last night, but so I've turned into a right early to bird, early to rise guy at the moment. My days of late nights are currently not happening. <laughs> Who knows, my body clock may shift itself around again and uh, I might end up being late night Johnny again, but at the moment I'm an early bird. Lex Luthor fired. Fired into the heart of the sun by Superman by looks of it. That can't be good for him. Mr. Mizikpik spills his guts. Wow, that's an unusual. Superman looking kind of like menacing in that. Menacing over looking over Mr. Mizikpik. Blik Tied up. Fire pits of hell. Is that Jimmy Olsen on Apocalypse? Yeah, I think so, he's got his camera, it's not good. For goodness sake, Grandma Goodness has got the hippie hippie shake. Granny Goodness, what a character she is. Uh, Innocence eclipsed. Oh, so I think that's Mary Marvel, she's been eclipsed by um, Eclipso. Ah, uh, carrion death. Oh, it was the other way around. It was... Why did I think it was... That's weird. I thought it was the other way around. So it's Trickster who got killed and the Pied Piper who, um, who's ended up dragging his dead body around. That's really weird. I'm sure it was... I always thought it was the other way around for some reason. That was strange. I suppose you've got to show your brain's not as good as you think it is. The search is over. The new life and times of Ray Palmer. Because he was taken over for a while by Ryan Choi. Uh... Oh, it was good. I quite like his run. I thought it was a good, good album. I like that, you know, the fact that Ray Palmer wasn't killed. 
this, he was on, you know, taking a retirement or he wasn't working at that particular time. And uh, Choi took over. But then they decided to kill Ryan Choi off, blinking Deathstroke. Massacre. Countdown to final crisis. Some time shenanigans, some parallel Earth shenanigans going on there. And it's saying 51 up in the corner, so I'm talking this is Earth 51 they're talking about. Was this the count then to create the 52 of Earths? I can't remember now, I think it is, isn't it? Oh, we're on 14, by the way, counting down 14, prime objective. Hmm. Obliteration. Countdown to final crisis. Convergence. Not to be confused with the later one called Convergence. Uh, the light at the end for the Pied Piper still dragging around the arm of the trickster. Uh, female Fury. Great any goodness is getting scalded by some... They're not the female Furies, though, are they? Maybe they are the female Furies, but I don't recognise them as the female Furies. Hmm, not sure who they are. Uh, revolution. Uh, the nice covers are like a little like, blurb on them, but I much prefer the old days when you had a bit of story going on. It helps you to remember what the heck happened in the comic book, for one. <laughs> Uh, challenging the Justice League. Mm, number six. The great disaster is upon us. Number five. Countdown to final crisis. Hmm. Not sure that's signifying. Is that signifying the worlds combining with each other? Is that one superwoman's like emblem changing, costume changing because of a mashing up of of worlds? Superman fighting Dark Side here with his Amiga beams. Uh, the dark side of Jimmy Olsen. Oh dear. Jimmy Olsen's become blinking um, lizard guy. What's the, I'll show you the name for when he had that lizard guy powers. He's fighting in hand to hand dark side. Jimmy Olsen versus dark side. Matilda, don't you tell me that Jimmy Olsen is not buff. Look at him there. Just your kind of guy. A bit scaly. Could do with some skin conditioner. But you know, muscles. Uh, number one. Andy Kubert cover. No background. Who are all these people? All right, Atom. Green Lantern. Must be Jimmy Olsen there. Donna Troy. A few others on there. I have no idea what they're meant to be. Is that one meant to be Chase, maybe? Is that Chase there? Uh, no idea what the person on the back is. With the armour and wings and stuff. No idea that's meant to be. Right, and then finally, oh, DC Universe Zero. The ending begins here. This was a 50 center. Who's that cover? So many characters on it. You'd think maybe with Perez, but I don't know who it is. Yeah, I don't know who it is to discover. Ooh, that's a nice and spread of pages there. Yeah. What's happening? Mmm. Mmm. Oh dear. <laughs> that's a little bit much going on there, isn't there? Well, right, anyway, maybe I'll get around to reading them again one day. That'd be nice. I need to live forever so I can reread all my comics. Uh, mm. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. 
I will do a jingle for uh, another channel uh, after this, if I remember, if I can find a nice little channel to do a jingle for. Cheers for tuning in. Uh, leave a comment if you want. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll be back tomorrow to f go for some more comics from this Box 24. Uh, until that time, I wish you all a great, amazing day. And I hope that all your news will be good news. <coughs> Comics on the edge. Comics on the edge. Sub up, sub up, sub up, sub up. Comics on the edge. Go and sub him up. Comics, he's comics, he's comics on the edge. Yeah.